Hetepu. My name is Jabari Osaze and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. We have the opportunity to come to you on this fabulous Friday, the Friday preceding what is generally considered to be Mother's Day. And so since we have this conversation with you on weekdays, I figured we'd say something about our incredible mothers, those, those women that gave us so much. And so let's return to the instruction of any, this wonderful wellspring of wisdom that comes to us from Kemet's um, New Kingdom. And remember, it was written by someone who seems to have been middle class for an average person. So let's hear what he says about how you should treat your mother. Double the food your mother gave you. Support her as she supported you. She had a heavy load in you but she did not abandon you. When you were born after your months, she was yet yoked to you, her breast in your mouth for three years. As you grew and your excrement disgusted, she was not disgusted, saying, what shall I do? When she sent you to school and you were taught to write, she kept watching over you daily with bread and beer in her house. When as a youth you take a wife and you are settled in your house, pay attention to your offspring. Bring them up as did your mother. Do not give her cause to blame you. Let she raise her hands to the creator and he hears her cries. This is so important as we talk about the role that our parents, particularly our mothers, play in our lives. I know that I'm lucky enough to still have my mother with me as, as I'm an adult now, and she's still so important to me. I couldn't imagine actually spending uh, th this, this time in my life without her. I think it's very interesting that as any describes the role of the mother, it really has not changed drastically in over 3,000 years, and that that role of mother and child is very similar. He talks about how she supported you, and that when you were born after your months, she was yet yoked to you. In other words, you, she was already responsible for you even before you were a being. When you were still in her stomach, she was responsible for you. And he says that you, she had her breast in your mouth for three years. Now, I know most women don't breastfeed that long today, but perhaps he's telling us something else about the, the nourishment that children receive from their mothers and from their breasts. And perhaps we should consider doing it for a longer period. He talks about how when you grew and how when you actually um, had excrement, that she didn't just simply say, this is nasty, I'm gonna leave this child alone. Who wants to deal with excrement? She said, it is my job to take care of this young person, even though it was unpleasant. He talks about how she looked after you when you were in school and, and gave you food and gave you bread and beer. Now keep in mind, comedic beer in some instances, there were several different types. Some of them were more nourishing than intoxicating. And I'm assuming that that's the type that he's referring to that your mother gave you. Um, and he then says, remember that this model for appropriate motherhood for appropriate parenthood is one that you should follow as an adult. And it's quite clear that he is writing this for a man, but he's talking about how important your role must be to your children. So that ancient comedic people didn't seem to think that child rearing was simply something that a woman would do, but that you played an important role as well as a man. And that, um, it's important for you to be a good parent regardless of your gender. And so this is a really important reminder of the, the sacrifices that our mothers make. He even says in the beginning that you should double the food your mother gave you, support her as she supported you. How many of you are actually doing wonderful things for your mother? This woman who gave you life, who gave you breath on a daily basis. How many of you are going to be sure that she understands how grateful you are? Not just on Mother Day, Mother's Day, but every day. Let's be sure that this person 
who made such an extreme sacrifice for you is no longer feeling that they need to continue to sacrifice because you are now taking care of their needs. Please enjoy your magnificent weekend with your mother. And for those of you whose mothers have passed on, remember the comedic people believe that this time on this plane was simply the preparation for the next. Make sure that you are doing those things, that you remember your mother so that she can play a role in your life if she's passed on to the next realm. This has been Ancient Wisdom Daily. My name is Jabari Osaze. Do you believe that these conversations might actually uh, be helpful for people that you know, your family, your friends, um, your colleagues? Make sure you send them to our website at ancientwisdomdaily.com to subscribe. Remember, your subscription is free, but the knowledge you'll receive is priceless. Hetepu, enjoy your magnificent weekend and your powerful Mother's Day. And we'll see you back here on Monday.